the appointment and dismissal of the National Director of Public Prosecutions. South Africa's Prosecution Service, the National Prosecuting Authority, or NPA for short, is headed by the National Director of Public Prosecutions, who is appointed for a period of 10 years. Yet, no National Director has served the full term. According to the Constitution and the NPA Act, the President appoints the NDPP. The President also, after consultation with the NDPP and the Minister of Justice, appoints the four Deputy National Directors of Public Prosecutions and other key office holders. This means the entire top structure of the NPA may be appointed by the President and Minister of Justice without any input from external stakeholders such as Parliament or the public. This is very different from other sectors in government, for example, the Public Protector and the Auditor General of South Africa. These positions are advertised. The appointment is made by the President on recommendation of the National Assembly. The candidates should reflect the race and gender of the country. The candidates must be fit and proper, have specialist knowledge and relevant experience. There are no such specific requirements, such as specialist knowledge or years of experience for the appointment of the NDPP, except that the person must be fit and proper and have right of appearance in all courts. The law is also not clear on what fit and proper means and the issue ended in the Constitutional Court to contest the appointment of Menzi Simelane as NDPP. The court found the President has a duty to be as thorough, rational and objective as possible when making these appointments. The NPA Act says that the President can suspend the National or Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions pending an inquiry into this person's fitness to hold office. The current procedure to remove an NDPP seems vulnerable to political manipulation as it is an ad hoc committee of parliament that provides the final confirmation. Two subsections of the NPA Act dealing with the appointment and dismissal of the NDPP were declared unconstitutional. The first concerns the extension by the president of the NDPP's term of office. The second allows the President to suspend the NDPP indefinitely, with or without pay. The Court ruled that both subsections undermine the independence of the NDPP's office and, indeed, the NPA itself. This is now being fixed by Parliament. The Prosecuting Authority plays a key role in a constitutional democracy. Only when the National Prosecuting Authority has moral authority and independence will the public have confidence and trust in its decisions. The Africa Criminal Justice Reform Fact Sheet titled NPA, the appointment and dismissal of the NDPP, describes this in detail.